Hi everyone, this is Megan Von Sell, your cancer expert, and I'm the owner and CEO of Cancer Peace University. And we created Cancer Peace University with you in mind. It is our goal to set you free from the fear of cancer. And in this video, I'm going to be talking more about spontaneous remission frequencies and cancer. It's critical for us to understand the quantum universe and how frequencies work within the body because frequencies and quantum healing is the pathway for spontaneous remission from many different diseases within the body because your body is made up of frequencies that communicate cell to cell and help to regulate RNA and DNA protein synthesis and provide many other roles within the human body. I'm going to continue the conversation from last video about sulfa geofrequencies, and I'm going to dive more deep into the history of sulfa geofrequencies. Sulfa geofrequencies were the frequency of Gregorian chants, and these sulfa geofrequencies actually started in the Catholic Church and were the chanting music of the Catholic Church. And there are actually many reports of spontaneous radical healings in the presence of these sulfa geofrequencies that was occurring within the Catholic Church. There were also testimonials of outbursts of weeping, outbursts of peace and joy, and many other miraculous testimonies in the presence of sulfa geofrequencies within the early Catholic Church. However, this changed after Pope Gregory the Great came into power in 590 AD, and he actually altered the frequencies of sulfa geofrequencies, and eventually Gregorian chants became relegated to monasteries and were no longer a part of the Catholic Church and its regular services. And the church actually stated that 152 sulfa geofrequencies were lost after the decision of Pope Gregory the Great to alter the frequencies in the Catholic Church. And this was a great loss to the Catholic Church because the stories and testimonials of spontaneous healings also ceased at, after these sulfa geofrequencies and chants were removed from the official church music. So let's talk a little bit more modern day about frequencies, music therapy, and how frequencies impact the body on a healing level. The National Center for Biotechnology Information in 2009 released this statement from Dr. Asad Mimandi. And Dr. Asad Mimandi stated the following, Since ancient times, music has been known for its therapeutic value. Greek physicians used the flute lyre and zythers in order to heal their patients. And vibrational frequencies were used in digestive, digestive ailments, also used to induce sleep and used with mental disturbances. Can you imagine going to your doctor and having your doctor pull out a flute and play the flute over you in order to bring healing and remedy to your condition? But this is how far removed we are from healing on a physical level in the quantum universe because we don't realize the power of frequency. A study was released in UK in the Journal for Advanced Nursing and in this study music was applied in chronic pain and depression. Chronic pain and other pain conditions reduced the amount of pain by 21% and depression was reduced by 25% with music therapy. Music has been used in hospitals to ease post-operative pain, to reduce blood pressure, and to strengthen the immune system. And it's not the specific type of music, it is the frequency that's coming from the music that will impact healing or to cause the interference field. And there are many different frequencies that can be released in a powerful healing manner. And there are also frequencies that act as a block to healing and can act as something called an interference field. What is an interference field? An interference field is something that will block the lymphatic, 
system and the energetic flow as well as the flow of electrons within the body and block energetic healing and the energetic channels within the body. Let's look at two specific frequencies before we look at interference fields. The first frequency I want to look at is 528 Hertz. And Hertz is simply how many vibrations occur per second. NASA scientists discovered that at the core of the sun, the frequency that's being emitted is 528 Hertz. And genetic biochemists are using 528 Hertz in order to repair DNA. 528 Hertz has also been used in order to balance hormones with premenstrual syndrome, with premenopause, as well as with weight problems, lymphatic and circulation issues as well. On the other side, there are frequencies that can cause unrest, chaos, and disrupt healing within the body. During the reign of Nazis in Germany, Nazis instituted a frequency 440 hertz. And 440 hertz is a dissonant, unrest, chaotic frequency that causes agitation within the human body. And Nazis used this frequency in order to control the masses. This frequency was able to agitate and cause chaos and block cell-to-cell -cell communication and act as an interference field. In our modern day world, we're exposed to many different interference fields. The first interference field I want to talk about is electromagnetic frequencies coming from technology. We're exposed to electromagnetic frequencies every time we use our phone, our computers, watch television, or if we live in homes that are by power lines, the frequency emitted by technology can cause disruption within the human body. Electromagnetic frequencies can actually trick the immune system into fighting a shadow and distract and deplete the immune system. In 1979, Nancy Wertheimer Lepper at the University of Colorado Medical Center in Denver, Colorado performed a study and discovered that the death rate for leukemia was double that in high current homes as to low current homes. And when homes are near power lines, this increases the disruption from electromagnetic frequencies. One of my clients was having chronic headaches and migraines, and we discovered that she was sleeping with her phone turned on next to her head, and when she removed her phone and turned it in airplane mode, she stopped having these headaches and migraines. One strategy is to Clear out the area where you sleep by unplugging devices, turning your phone on airplane mode, and trying to clear the electromagnetic frequencies from the place that you sleep so that the amount of time you sleep, you're not exposed to these frequencies that can cause chaos and unrest within your body. Also, scar tissue can impede and act as an interference field blocking the energetic flow and blocking the flow of electrons within your body. Scar tissue can accumulate chemical and metabolic toxins that can end up blocking the flow of electrons within your body. And when an injury or a surgery occurs, when your body is nutritionally depleted, your body not, may not be able to fully recover and this can cause an increase of toxins being accumulating within the scar tissue. One strategy to remove these toxins and remove the interference field that occurs with scar tissue is mudding. You can use mud packs or bentonite clay to draw out the high positive charge of toxins. And this can help remove the interference field and help your body to have a better energetic flow and cell to cell communication on an energetic level. The last interference field I want to look at is emotions. Negative emotions, traumatic memories, abusive language, all have a vibrational quality that can end up 
causing a disharmonious frequency to operate within your body, blocking cell-to-cell -cell communication and interrupting the flow of healing that happens with the movement of electrons and the flow of the energetic current within your body. Fear can cause over 1,400 different biochemical reactions in, within your body, but fear also has a frequency, and the frequency of fear can cause disharmonious frequencies and a chaos to block the energetic flow of healing within your body. And in order for us to move forward in a positive manner for healing on the physical body, we need to address these disharmonious frequencies that we're surrounded by, but that are also vibrating at a disconcordant frequency within our bodies on a day-to-day -day basis based on our thought patterns, our emotions, traumatic memories that are unresolved, and different cycles of negative emotions that can block and act as an interference field within the body. Now, if you are a holistic practitioner and you want to learn more about Cancer Peace University, my next course is launching in January 2019 and March 2019. If you'd like to learn more about becoming a Cancer Peace University instructor, send me a personal message or email me at cancerpeaceuniversity at gmail.com. I would love to share more about my training program, Cancer Peace University, and how you can become an instructor and make a major impact in the lives of those diagnosed with cancer and those that are attempting to prevent cancer. I would love to send a free book to the first person who sends me a message about this video and about enrolling in Cancer Peace University. Have a great day and we will continue this conversation next week. Thank you.